showing you how to root to your Barnes & Noble Nook Color um, running on software version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, the two files that you need for this tutorial are AutoNuder 3.0 and 132Disk Imager. AutoNuder Auto 3.0 um, actually only works with uh, the Nook Color version 1.1 1 .1 software. It doesn't work with version 1.01 or 1.0. Um, other there are other auto out uh, sorry there are other auto neuter versions available. Um, but for this tutorial I'm gonna give you the download links for 3.0 and that only works on 1.1 as I already said. And um, the links for both of those programs that I just said will be in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and uh, after you download <coughs> uh, both files, go ahead and unzip both of them. Go to the Win32 Disk Imager, double click on it, select your device, mine is E, maybe different for you. Click on the folder, click Auto Editor 3.0, double click on that, and go ahead and click Write, and Yes. And it'll just start writing. Um, for this, you actually will need a. You can, you can get by with like a 1 gigabyte um, micro SD card, possibly less. This is auto neuter is actually only about 74 megabytes, but um, I recommend uh, you have a two, one to two gigabyte um, micro SD card, just because you will be wanting to put other things on it and you will be wanting to add future things, and it can it can be useful. Okay, so now that that's finished, I'm gonna press exit, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the camera, and I'll show you what to do once you plug in the micro SD to your nook color. So I will see you there. Okay, now that we have a micro SD card made, we're going to need our Nook Color and our Nook Color's uh, power cord. Uh, okay, make sure your Nook Color is powered off, like mine is. Off. It's totally off. Then go and flip it over. Uh, open up the back micro USB port. Alright, let's do this with one hand. And slide her on in there. And close it up. Turn it back over. Now go ahead and take your um, power cord and plug this end, small one, into the nut color. Right. No, oh, hold on. There we go. Right there, just like that. Now go ahead and take your USB. I'm gonna go take this up here. And go ahead and plug it into your USB port. Like so. Alright, yeah, you hear a little click on your computer, uh, noise on your computer. Um, now you have to wait anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes for your nut color to reboot. And when it reboots, you want to make sure and take your micro SD card out right when you see the. Um, the words that come up at the, at the beginning, uh, touch the future reading, when that comes up, be sure and take your micro SD card out immediately, or else that can, um, that can cause it to not boot or not work properly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and we'll come back after it's finished doing its thing. Okay, as you can see, it worked. Um, so I'll go ahead and guide you through the rest of this. Uh, it's not that hard, but... There's one part that can be a little bit confusing. Let's just wait for this to boot up. Uh, this can take sometimes a few minutes, sometimes just 30 seconds. Um, this is only on first boot, but after this it, it boots up very, very quickly. Um, if you, if you don't get to the screen, um, that could mean that you actually burned your, uh, micro SD card wrong, or that you just simply didn't wait long enough for the device to reboot, and you should probably go, um, try and check out your SD card and see if, make sure you burned everything on there, or try and reburn it and redo everything that we just did. So now go ahead and show you what it should look like. Alright, here it is.
as you can see it says touch the android to begin so we should follow those instructions okay now let's just simply press begin it's right here sorry if it's hard to see uh, when you get to this point go ahead and press sign in which is the second button and I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, so I'm gonna go and put this down real quick. Oh, before I put it down, I do want to show you the keyboard though, because it's really cool. Um, there's a keyboard. That's I thought that's really cool. I like that keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and log in. Um, after you log in, you, it'll take you back to the logon screen, which I'll show you here in a few seconds. And but that that means you're log in, logged in. It, but it'll tell you if you inputted anything wrong. But if it takes you back to the login screen, that means you've done everything right. Um, that means you've done everything right, and it's logged you in. Sorry, I have kind of a long password. Okay. So as you can see. This took me back to the login screen. So go ahead and just press back. It's in the bottom left corner. Sorry if it's hard to see. And go ahead and press skip, which is the last button. And make sure both boxes are checked. And go ahead and press next. And when you get here, go ahead and press home. And it'll take you to the unit color home and all your books and stuff will pop up. Um, and just to make sure that it is a hundred, you're, to make sure you're one hundred and ten percent right that it is in fact rooted. Go ahead and press the upside down N. Go to extras, and you should have all these apps: YouTube, Talk, all this other stuff. So now that you're rooted, you can go ahead and go into the market and accept the terms of service. And there you go. You can download anything you want. So I'll go ahead and just to show, just to prove to you that it works. We're going to download. What should we download? Let's go and download Angry Birds. Install. Oops. Wrong button. Install. Okay. And in the bottom left corner, pretty soon we should see a downloading bar or downloading notification and that means it's all working Oops. sometimes it may take a while though for it to display so we're going to install a few other apps okay sorry about that, the download finally started um, as you can see in this area you get a little notification and it'll tell you. We got a lot of screen there real quick. So you can see it's downloading right now. And we can go ahead and go to the scene. Well, there's something I just downloaded. And I'll go ahead and give you a little demo of it. First level or something like that. Alright, so now it's done. Just you can go and click on it. Oh, wait, it's installing. Okay, there we go. As you see, everything loads up perfectly fine.